Hallo, hallo. Okay, let's see what we play today. What is open? Rise ban. I think I will go with GP game first. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while anyways. It's good to keep a bit of practice with the champions. Um, anything regarding the team, I can't say much about. Uh, you will be updated about it in a few weeks, I believe. So just keep checking the URL. Facebook page and Twitter and such. And we will update you there. <coughs> Dutch. So yeah, I'm just not gonna say anything about that, but you will see. <clears throat> Challenger 500, what is that? 120. Chachi, what's happened in the best of five? Mm. In our last best of five against our region, which was, I believe, like a month ago or something. No, not a month, like 20 days ago, rather. I think we had some drafting mistakes as well. We didn't go for top lane tanks, which seems to be really strong right now. And it's really hard to play against them. I just, or like, we just realized that after. Uh, watching other regions play and watching the ULCS finals and third place match as well. It was always the tanks dominating and any other picks that's not tank, that's not belonging into the tank meta is just struggling a lot. So I guess right now picks like GP, Ryze and other more carry oriented top laners are not good options as long as this tank meta is alive. So first of all, we just need to wait a bit for the tank nerfs, or like item nerfs, mastery nerfs, which are coming. As you could see, Grasp of the Undying is already nerfed. So that could enhance other styles as well. But I think first of all, that was a mistake, and other than that, we didn't play good either. So we deserve to lose. 
even though I wouldn't say the Frio was uh, the result we deserved to get, but uh, we definitely didn't deserve to win there. What do you think Yorick bet and why? I was actually thinking about uh, trying out Yorick since I haven't played with him a lot lately or actually I haven't tried him out for a very long time I was thinking about maybe trying him with Storm Raider Surge because this master is quite strong I feel like for uh, more carry oriented champions that will just deal their damage and want to position themselves to another place really fast like Rise Irelia and maybe it could fit Yorick as well I will see if I get to try it out today not sure not sure if it's good so I will see about that if it, there's a really good occasion where I could pick him and I feel comfortable in the laning phase then I will go for it did you already scream with Millennium? We did scream them before, during the split, once or twice, but uh, not nowadays. What do you think about the new champions like Aurelion Soul or Tarik? Aurelion Soul is actually something interesting. I'm still not too familiar with the champion. All I feel is that he can deal so much damage. Uh, and his stun is actually pretty disgusting sometimes. But uh, I'm, I'm not too sure if he has a place in the meta. Not, not, not sure about his laning phase. I think that's the biggest concern. I, I don't think he's too usable for top lane, but uh, as a mid laner, he should probably struggle against laners like Azir that can poke him from a long range. And he has to all in in order to trade back because then he's too vulnerable for ganks. <coughs> And about the new Tarek, I think he just looks plain broken, but uh, he's not that easy to play. At least from my experience, the Tariks I've met so far in solo queue were quite weak. So I guess uh, it's not an easy champion right now, because you need to get used to all the abilities being casted on your allies as well. And your allies have to realize as well that they cast your abilities. so. They should be able to play with it too. And I think you will need weeks for that to get used to. I haven't tried him for top lane yet. Uh, but his abilities are so centered around another champion, so I'm not sure. But maybe if the jungler comes for a gank and you can bind him, it can work good. Not too sure yet. But then you need a jungler that will gank your lane and help you out. <coughs> you know who is Mike Hawk? Uh, no, I don't. What do you think about Night Blue 3? Mm, I don't really watch his stream, so I can't tell too much about him. But he has a lot of viewers usually, that's all I see. Um, Steam stuff I cannot say anything about, we will update you later as a team. Brand updates, gonna be OP. I haven't checked out the AP mage updates yet, I only took a quick uh, glance at the dragons. But I'm not sure about the mage updates, it will change a lot definitely. Because the items get changed too and that's usually the big thing so brand will become kind of like more team fight oriented champion with a lot of aoe damage i guess that might be a new meta with it what do you think about try some meta break champion at one special champion also what do you think about the new splash art for new splash art for Tarek? or like in general I like most of them, but some are really weird, like these fiddlesticks. I can't really get used to it yet. 
dressed are fine, I think. Like Ramos is a bit weird too. It's like a frog, but it's fine. I like the Warwick one. It's pretty cool, I think. How many games do you play today? I think three or four. Will depend on the queue times and how long the games will be. Yeah, yeah I think so too. When you get used to Tariq, he will be really strong because he has heal, stun, invulnerability. So a lot of good stuff for support. Got the game, nice. What do you think about Echo Mid after the tape is killed off on I think Echo Mid is still usable for sure. He's, these nerfs don't affect too much the AP Echo Mid. It's rather for the tank Echo. That's what they aimed to nerf, I think. There weren't any games yet, I just started. Alright. What do we get here? Can I pick someone? I really dislike first picking top lane because it gives you, leaves you with a very limited amount of options because a lot of champions are not blind pickable. Or like you just want to see a bit more of the enemy team composition to decide to pick them. Do you think the new dragons are too random? I I just quickly took a glance at it. I'm not I'm not even sure how they spawn or what they do. I just saw they give different types of buffs. Mm, I, I don't really know yet. It's like coming out later anyway, so I will have some time to read about it later on. I'm at home now, yes. But I guess a lot of you are asking about the new dragon, so I might just read after it. After this game. Will we see much some Irelia plays today? Uh, I think I will play Irelia, yes. I've been a big fan fan of yours since MSI to follow. Thanks. So have to blind pick, great, great, great. Basically blind pick leaves me with Irelia GP eyes right now. Or a tank, okay. Pick fresh. Actually I might want to go with the eyes game. So I just look it. usually banned anyways and I don't get too much chance to play him. Okay. Let's see what do we have here. I think I will just go with the uh, Storm Raiders. Hmm. Natural talent. Oppressor. Yeah. This looks fine. You can go with Merciless instead of Meditation. It's just a matter of preference but I think it's good to have some mana regen. And my room page is this, which is quite unusual, I think, for Rise. But I like to run a bit more armor, so you are safer in the laning phase. I run two armor queens, CDR per level blues, bit of MR, magic penetration red, and another AP queen. How was your day so far? It was fine, thanks. I woke up a bit later, so I'm kind of refreshed, I guess. Why is it not played anymore? 
Mm, that's a good question, I guess. People just don't like it that he's when he's mid in R, he has troubles entering a fight compared to other tanks. <clears throat> that will just TP behind your team and fight instantly. Because NAR needs a lot of time to do this. He needs to be Mega NAR to have a great impact. But his split pushing as mini NAR can be still pretty strong because he's strong against the tanks. Okay, so we are against Kale, most likely. And I have Graves Jungle. Should be a fine lane for me. I should play it a bit more passive, but I think with Storm Raiders I can easily out trade. Since when I burst him down, he tries he tries to use ultimate, I can just run away. And it should be good against Evelyn as well. So I will keep the Storm Raiders. Just thinking about getting Vampirism instead of Natural Talent. But I guess I will try this one. Not too sure which one is better. Uh, yes, Echo is pretty dominant right now, but he's getting nerfed a lot, so... Or like, not a lot, but he got nerfed a bit right now, and I think he might see some more nerfs coming later. Also, the items, he goes for Frozen Gauntlet, for example, is nerfed as well. And so is Grasp of the Undying. <coughs> so that's kind of a lot of nerves, but uh, I guess he should be still strong. The god tier top laners are still the same, the tank ones, I think. Maokai, Trundle, and Echo. Poppy kind of fell out of there after the nerfs. But uh, I'm not sure they are nerfing Grasp of the Undying and such, so I guess Riot kind of wants to end this tank meta. Or like, even if not end it, just uh, give other options as well. Where you don't have to necessarily go for a tank and still be useful. It will be an English trainers. I won't speak Hungarian today. Okay, let's go to Ren's Ring. I was considering the other item. What is his name? Dark Seal. Maybe it would even be a better option. Since I don't look to trade that much with the K. But let's see. And with Dark Seal I would get free potions. And oh. it was a good chunk on Bard. I think I can ward their golems now. Because they are around here in worst case scenario. Okay, never mind. I will run topwards because Eve is here. Maybe she warded our comp. Also, I saw something about minion changes. So nowadays, top lane minions start focusing one. Like when they arrive, they focus down one of the middies. Which wasn't the case before. So I cannot help the jungler that much. So I guess I will just use one E auto, maybe another auto, and just run to lane fast. It's like nothing. That's what I can do. Yeah, that's exactly what I mean. These minions are getting focused down. And I get it and he doesn't. It's not that big deal I guess, but... Uh, I don't want to lose one minion for nothing. Okay. 
So I will just let her push the lane right now. There is not much to contest here, I don't have wave here. She's way stronger than me. I just wanna hit level 2 WE her and trade like that. Chunk her out slowly. One CS. Okay. Next spare rotation, I can just WE here and she will get a lot of damage. Maybe not as much as I hoped, but uh, it really depends on the players if they walk back or not because the E deals more damage if they stay between minions. We haven't seen Eve yet, she can be anywhere, but I think she's bot side. There's nothing for her to do top. Yeah. Okay, we even tip it down. Okay. That means I want to push the lane fast. Not sure I can do. Rise is not the fastest pusher. Ah, uh, decay for a kill. Okay, it's bouncing. I will just recall. Mm, too much spam for my taste. Oh, what are they doing? So this lane should bounce towards me, in best case. Yeah, it should, okay. But it's bouncing really slow, since the cannon wave arrived. Kale got the kill, but tp it down. Probably a bit up on me on experience, since she has a double buff, so I should really care. Besides, I don't see Evelyn anywhere. Maybe just ward our Gromp, so maybe we spot her there. Yeah, she's level 5. It's gonna be really hard. I need to wait out the double buffs kinda. They might even dive me. I'm quite squishy. I think I can be a bit more aggressive now. Yeah, she's eating a lot of kills. She's six. Okay. The pink spam continues from bot lane. I'm not sure about this working out. She still had flash. Everything was bot lane. Okay, so okay, I have no flash anymore. She still has ult, so I can't really hold it. Besides, I'm low mana as well. But I think I would just try to damage her anyways. Yeah, just 
force her out like that. She even stepped out of her zone. It's pretty good. Now I can push in the lane, maybe hope the thief doesn't come. And I can get my catalyst. It's pretty huge power spike. I have TP up, so I should probably look towards bot lane to make a play. But I have no clue about summoners, they can't ask the team. Since they are muted. Okay, Bard. Oh, Wardex. Hey, Wardex. So this is a good TP ward. Oh, coming here. Okay, she should die. That's really good. I get a red buff. I guess it's not too useful, but uh, better than nothing. More importantly, I get another kill. I think some reports will be handed out after this match. Still don't see Kale, I guess she recalled. I think Eve might try to gank me, I don't have flash anymore. So I, sh I, f I wanna be careful right now. Maybe she walks up for the cannon and I get a bit of harass on her, but other than that. Should stay out of her range. Oh. Wow. Maybe we just cancelled it. It's so bad. We couldn't even burst down the bard. I think about Rise nowadays, I don't want to start my combo with 4 stacks, but rather at like 2 or 3 So I can sustain it for longer time uh, okay. That's really good K loot is the only thing that stops me from bursting her down She used it to negate the burst The only reason I didn't use my E there is because I can't sustain a combo if I'm 4 stacks and I only have my E up. So even if I did, it's uh, like 200 more damage to the Eve, but it wouldn't kill her. But we got a kill anyways, it's good. can do this. Okay. Now I'm willing to use it just for the extra burst. Maybe we can get the tower. Should get it actually. The TP is 90. <coughs> we get the tower, I get my Lord of the Ages. Maybe some other good items. I can get boots too. Road of the Ages with uh, swiftness boots. I think I will just run onto bot lane now, help them out a bit. Yeah. Coming. Even though I don't have TP, I feel like this room will be strong because I will have flash up. You can just flash on people. And 
Kale is freezing, so that's like perfect opportunity for me to come. But I think this might be worth it here. Ah, it's it's not too easy to gank this. Yeah, especially there are plenty of wards in our jungle. I will just come mid now. Get the tower there. We get the free mid tower, that's awesome. Oh. Okay, we got the bard. We got the tower, evil flashed. Tower, tower. Now I have to run top lane. Turn around. Didn't have my combo up. I guess it wasn't good. Oh, she even hit you. So we should get this tower here. If we just keep getting towers like this, it's a good comeback anyways. And right now they don't have flashes either. <laughs> the amount of ping is... Oh, this Lucian is throwing. Don't really get why, but whatever. Shouldn't really bother me, because... It takes a lot of focus away if you pay attention to these people. Yeah, I think I will just mute the pings. But you can just use it if you want. to push out the wave. Okay. Are they still coming? I'm pretty sure there are more people around here, so I should be careful. Actually, no. They don't care about me. Okay. That means I can maybe dive this care. So I don't her for a loot. Now I can dive her after. Okay, she recalls. And the MF is coming. Three golems are always good. A bit low on mana, so I want to recall. But I will actually see if this MF stays, because then I can kill her. If she does. Ah, she has this warrior or what? Oh my god, I missed. Please fuck you. That's... That's bad. Shouldn't have missed that one. It was a pretty easy kill. Yeah. Should have been a free kill and I run away. Take up a lot of gold with it as well. The MF is the most scary. Orianna is pretty weak. Eve is scary too. And Kale is becoming strong. I feel like our late game is way weaker anyways than theirs. Okay. Well, maybe he just needs some gold. <laughs> mm. 
that was such a weird interaction. Try to get top tower. Maybe just hold mid lane for now. Okay, this is here. Should rather run, run bot side. But uh, Eve is probably nearby. So I'm not sure if I want to face check anything here. With Kale coming as well. Okay, Eve is here. But Kale stopped the speed pushing so I can join the team. 25 flash. I can look towards the flash play on one of them. Most likely mess up his fortune. Even though she has her flash and heal up. Should be killable if I catch her. She has no MR. Story. We win the fight, that's good. They should just care now. Care a bit. We won the fight 4 4 1, so it's pretty good right now. NA, NA rise, yeah. That was definitely an NA move. Actually, I don't think there is too much of a regional difference right now between EU and NA. Looking at both of the finals, I think they are kinda even. NA is closing up to EU because I think EU was way stronger at one point. But we will see at MSI. Bard and Misfortune are top lane. I have my Seraphs. I should probably build some MR since they are full magic damage apart from MF. Or like a lot of magic damage. We can. We can do something about the Nash. I will pink ward it. It's really good to always have pink wards ready when you set up for a new objective. You can just pink ward the area all the time. But it's uh, really weird that they see this to the push that is pink warded. Go for the tower. Okay, Kale is here, so this is gonna be a bit harder. But if you see him up, let's just back. There's a huge top lane farm that I intend to take. Or I might just run into the Kale before. Oh. Oh, maybe she's doing this. Oh. Maybe she was, she just did it fast. Okay. Need to get back my wood somehow. Makes wave clearing a bit easier. I think Eve is nearby. She's trying to go a bit too aggressive. But I can still trade with her. Yeah. 
actually I couldn't, the Eevee is really fast. She has such a huge movement speed. Buff. What should I build next? Do they go any MR? No, not really. So I should build some MR. It's a little towards benches. So I get like quite tanky as well. <coughs> Maybe if they overstay, I can TP. Nah. I wouldn't have gotten her, so the grave suit was really good. Okay, you can go Nash. Eve is up, but it doesn't matter. We have such a good pink ward coverage. Head. There she is. Okay, okay, let's go for the 50 50. Victory call. Okay. I think in solo queue you can just go for 50 50 sometimes. She will just flash. Yeah. Not gonna chase that one. Maybe just push the lane. Right now we should set our sights on this one. I don't have TP so I can't go top. Lissandra has TP though. So maybe she could clear it when it gets bigger. Okay, Kaylee's top. I have Ben, she's ready. But I'm not gonna buy them yet. I think Bard and MF are hiding in the bush. Okay. MF maybe. Could be Eve too. I should kind of wait for yeah for the team. Oh, this Sandra is doing okay. She wins. No. Yeah, she does. Good ult. Should focus down the front line. Because they don't have a strong front line. Oh my god, got solo H. Ah, Bard, no flash. Okay. So seemingly, MF no flash now, yeah. I should time the MF flash, it's really important. It's 30 on 30. Actually, a bit later, 3140. So I get Banshees. And I will work towards Void stuff next. 
can sell this for some pink words. Maybe buy an elixir. Try rise on earth, your fingers will die. Yeah, probably. I'm not even sure rise is enabled in earth though. As far as I remember, he was disabled last time. I go against Kiel now. She's quite strong though. Mm. Not sure I can 1v1 her, she has a lot of 1v1 items. And she's generally a really strong speed pusher at this stage of the game. But uh, I think she will get greedy. And Okay, she doesn't. I was hoping that she will just keep pushing. And then the thing can collapse in her. We should look for top tower now. I will place it. Maybe we can force a root? Yeah, 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 that's really good. I didn't even have combo ready, but she didn't realize it. Okay. So, no okay, loot. It's huge. For the next fight. You can just flash on her. Time to recall. Got TP. I'm with TP back. But they start fighting, so it's not good. Bard stuns are so much, we should just keep running. Got the inhibitor at least. Maybe should have stacked one more of my passive up before running on to the MF. Because I couldn't combo her full. Kaylee Spectoring. Ah, I should recall here it's a pretty dumb situation. Let me just come here. Maybe I run up words, but he's pretty dead. Oh, so close. It was a nice try. I go mid. I need my white stuff, it's 100 gold. Because right now they have a bit too much MR for me. My pink ward, recall, get void stuff, and go towards Nash. Sounds like a plan. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> right, sorry guys, the stream crashed, or like my PC restarted. It's not the best PC in the world, so. It might happen apparently. Didn't know about it. Yeah, my FPS is generally lower than usual. Might happen again. Hopefully not. Okay. So apparently, what happened is the. My team tried to force Nasher, and the enemy team stole it. So right now they have Nasher, and it looks a bit harder to win this right now. Because they have such a brutal, strong late game comp, and my Lucian is suicide. Yeah, he's suicide. Like, 
Evelyn is nearby, he will just die instantly. And why shouldn't she be? This MF movement speed is crazy. Oh, he was here. Back, back, back. I don't know about any summoners, but I will just assume that everyone has everything. <laughs> Drake in two minutes. So let's see. Everyone, I'm level 17. A bit down in level right now because of the crash. But it doesn't matter, I'm close to 18. And I need a bit more damage, I think. Need my death cap. So much invulnerabilities, shields, QSSs, Mikkels. Yeah, it's too hard to kill. If Lissandra can't burst down the MF, because she has so much MR, like Mercury and Scimitar with Move, then it's quite problematic. Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> it's gonna be really bad. Someone is just gonna recall and kill him. But the content for sure, they don't have minions. So let's look for a death cap. I need a lot of AP now. Yeah, he's dead. Sadly. But he's such a strong member of us. If he can be in the front lines together with Alistair bursting down one of the carries, then we can win easily. We should try to focus down the KO because she deals a lot of damage and she's an easy target actually she has QSS too maybe the EVE like all of them are so squishy we should just catch one of them and burst them down or get the K loot out for free Nasher is up or is... oh it's just bugged on my map okay it's two minutes I'm pretty sure I'm weaker than her right now. I should just wave clear. Ah, this small of Marsh is so strong on her. An enemy has been slain. Would have bursted her down otherwise. <laughs> okay, so that fight is one for us. Like, narrowly, but still one. And my bench, she seems to be pretty useless because Bart still managed to loot me. He can proc it so easily. I think he proc'd it with an auto attack already. It's weird. I guess his passive auto attack procs it. It was move on MF. She's quite tanky for us because we have like the two of us that can get close to her, Lissandra and I, have a lot of uh, magic damage. Okay. 
probably the elixir. Oh, maybe I can TP. TP, no TP. No TP. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm coming for the barn. Coming for. Nice. We won this game. But we don't have minions. Doesn't matter, just go tank them. But the reports are still handed out. Oops. Okay. So can I report? Alistair. Let's queue up for next, and I will open the chat afterwards. Hello? Maybe I need to reconnect? I don't even have chat in League. Yeah, I think I need to reconnect. What do you think about gross course permanent band? Yeah, well, uh, he was quite outrageous about the situation and was publicly ruining the image of other people, so it was kind of deserved. But I'm still a bit sad about it because he was a fun streamer to watch. Uh, I'm not sure if I should join Dynamic Q. No, I will just keep soloing. <clears throat> I'm just a bit scared that Dynamic Q will just affect my Q times or something worse. I know that 5-man dynamic queue is good, but 4-man uh, dynamic queue I heard is the worst. Okay. Diamond proc situation. Uh, right now, he's still trying to get a visa. But uh, still no progress yet. How important is good attitude and self-confidence? It's very important, especially self-confidence. If you're se confident in yourself to create plays, to match up against opponents that are even stronger than you, that matters a lot and will help you improve as well, like earlier as well, before you reach high elo. Kind of good, at good attitude too. If you're positive, you look to improve and such, that will just... Uh, help you become better way faster than no, uh, uh, other people would what masters do you recommend for Olaf? Mm. I think Fervor is good at least there is a one trick pony Olaf Tile of the Trans Fervor so I guess 18, 0, 12 
It's good for him. <coughs> oh, the Swain. Yeah, I'm actually looking forward for the Swain updates. Because it was a champion I loved to play before. So, if he could be playable again, it would be awesome. What do you think about the new Tarek and the upcoming dragons? Yeah, I think I will just read about it somewhere. Mm, I think it was on Twitter. I follow League of Legends. Where is this one? Okay. So I haven't fully read this one yet. I think I will take a quick look. So I can say some stuff. Uh, I don't know about this. This is like a lot of updates. I will have to read all of it. Okay. So one of the four elemental dragons will spawn. Okay, and you will know which one is the next. So this is like randomized. And they gave different buffs. Champion killing power. Dueling potential team fight abilities. Yeah. So this is like extra damage, I guess. This is for split pushing, objective control, mana regen, sustain poke. Combat movement speed to outrotate opponents. And then there is this other dragon, which gives burn over time. Hmm. It's definitely interesting. I'm not too sure about the randomized factor. Like they will randomly spawn. That might be a bit annoying to handle. At competitive play at least. Because you can... You could build uh, strategies around it that one of the dragons will give you, I don't know, extra turret damage and then in lane swap situations this dragon is such an important objective to take and if it's the red dragon then it's not important at all and it can be a bit unbalanced sometimes I guess but uh, that's just theory, I don't know how much it will give we will see about it when it's released Wanna play Irelia? Yeah, I think I will do an Irelia game next. Yeah, why not? Irelia is pretty strong, in solo queue at least. Maybe in competitive she could be fine too, but you need more tank nerfs for that. The echo nerf was directed at tong top lane tank echo and it, uh, it's a fine nerf, but uh, I think it won't be enough yet. They need to nerf a bit more items and maybe the mastery tree for the tanks and to make them disappear a bit more. I write it down short, best 5 top lane champ, not metal like Graves GP. I like playing Kemundo and maybe the new turret. Hmm. To be honest, the top 5 Top lane champs for everyone should be the top 5 champions they like to play. So if you main Hacker, Imnar, Jax, Jarvan and Kale, then that should be your top 5 and not the meta champions. <coughs> you should play what you're strong with, first of all. You can try meta champions of course to just adjust to them. But if you still feel stronger and you're comfortable champions then you should keep playing with those until you get higher level. That's what I think, at least. What about you and self-confidence? How do you face up with the fact that you're playing as Huni or somebody big name? Usually, when the game starts, you instantly forget that you're playing against, like, people you just see the champions and you don't think about 
who is on that champion, who is controlling it. You just see it's a Rise versus Fiora matchup, and what goes through your head is uh, all the information about the matchup, how you should play it properly. So it doesn't affect too much, in my case. I always look for the matchup to what's the best way to play it. Or if it'll be up this week and not you want to do a viewer games or something. <coughs> uh, to be honest, I'm not too big fan of Earth. Uh, so I, I'm not that big fan of Earth anyways. I didn't play too much before either when it was released. So I don't think I will do that. What's the name of your keyboard? Steel series something. Uh, it's I'm having trouble with the Steel series names actually, but it's like one of the best gaming keyboards they have, and it's pretty good as well. Yeah, uh, about team changes or possible team changes, I'm not gonna comment on those. We will release a statement about it later on, like maybe in a few weeks or something, when everything is crystal clear. Opinion hacker him right now. I think you shouldn't build him tanky. <coughs> I don't like tank hacker him. I think you should build him with. If you play Hacker, you should build him with Triforce. And just be a burst down assassin champion. Okay, well, double jungling has already been kind of dead. Even now, it's junglers that are taking the big camps, like the big raptor, the big golem and everything like that, because it gives more XP, more gold and such. And I think it's fine, they shouldn't enhance double jungling. I think we sh uh, at least I hope so, that we can reach playoffs easily next season, and do better this time in it because right now I would like to get into a position at least to fight in the gauntlet of course it would be the best to reach first place but that's gonna be really really hard because right now the competition is really fierce and most of the teams are strong even the weaker ones are becoming way stronger So they have Tariq. My blade is at your service. Should have asked if I can pick for someone, but it's too late. No, I don't have Engli English language exam. Oh, oh, you mean language exam? Yeah, I do have English language exam. It's a C1. In, in, in Hungary, it's like one of the highest you can take, but not the highest highest. I was studying English in high school as like primary subject. I 
I think keyboards are not that big factor, although it's more comfortable to play with better keyboards. But uh, you can do just fine with lower quality keyboards as well. I think mouse matters more a bit. The mouse is important and even the head, like gaming gear is not that important to be to become good. It just makes everything more comfortable. But if you get used to something, you will do good with it, even if it's a worse quality. Yeah, I heard something like USS will no longer remove trundles, adult and such if you're old. It's gonna be a big cut for AD carries for sure. And it will change up the meta quite a bit. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not coming to play Age of Mythology. No, I do not bind uh, items on mouse. No, I don't do that either. I use Q, W, E, R, D and F and the buttons 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So let's take a quick look. It's Malphite top. It's not gonna be easy. And they dodged. I got the same team because it's in step opt. Steelback is a good AD carry, yes. He's definitely top ADC in Europe right now. I don't think anything of that because like you, you can never decide if it's fake or not then it's not up to me to decide that based on no fact at all just because someone says it it can be a blind accusation it can be not it will turn out anyways eventually i guess what's the truth What's really as worst matchup? It's usually tank, tank top laners. <coughs> like uh, she doesn't struggle against anyone early, but by tank top laners you get pretty hard outscaled because you just won't damage them at one point. So definitely those are the hardest, but uh, Irelia is stronger than Jax for sure. If someone picks Jax into Irelia, it should be your free win. You can one shot Jax all the time. Well, not all the time, like late, late game, Jax outscales her, but early mid game, that's your moment to shine and shut down the Jax. Okay, so Tariq is banned. Tank Fizz. Mm. I think he scales good, but his early mid game is not that strong. Not as strong as other tanks, and that's what makes him a bit weaker. <coughs> but he scales really good, so in late game, Tank Fizz is actually more, more of a threat than other tanks. Since he's super mobile and can still one shot the carries. Unless they build a bit more tanky, of course, like Mo of Mole Marshes on AD carry can be really strong against it. Hecarim? Hecarim I think is fine. He just needs a bit more buffs, I guess, or like nurse on other champions to become relevant. But he's usable, I think. So you can just keep playing him, he's fun champion, but he's fine. You can carry with him easily in solo kill. Hecarim TP behind one shotting carry is still as usable as before. Uh, I don't really know the Hungarian competitive players. 
I know that Mumush, Mumush Saz is playing in Russian League, so he should, he should be quite good. And the rest I don't know too much about, I don't see Hungarian players too much, or like at all in Challenger. It's a bit sad. My blade is at your I think that's like the first step to get Challenger in solo queue, then Challenger series, LCS and such are the next steps. But I see some master players, so that's definitely a good sign. Like, the difference between master and challenger is not too high. It's just a tiny bit. Crosscore said it, so it must be 100% true. No, not really. What do you think Poppy is good on top? Not really. I think Poppy after the nerves is not as strong. Okay, Simon is gangplank. It's pretty easy lane. Maybe not early, but Irelia will one shot gangplank after level 5. Or like Sheen. When I get Sheen, he's kind of doomed. You can one shot him all the time. Do you like the new Tarik? I haven't met the new Tarik that much yet, so it's hard to say. But I don't think he's that strong if you could. Like, you need a lot of experience with him, that's what I see right now. Because he's not that easy to play. He's way harder than the previous Tarik. It's not like brain dead, go ahead and then just stun up people, heal. <coughs> and such why do you use the no wars on normal cast instead of smart cast well I know it's faster to do it with smart cast but uh, with normal cast I can actually see where I place it with smart cast it happens sometimes that you misplace it it's not in the bush or something where you want, want it to place so that's fine <coughs> Like your new hairstyle, thanks. Okay. So they have full AD comp. Okay, they have Corky, but it doesn't matter too much. That means I can get an early frozen heart and just be really annoying for them to deal with. Welcome to Summoner's if I get uh, Ninja Tabby. After Trinity Force, combined with Frozen Heart, I will just destroy all of the ADs. Like GP, Graves, Z. So Gilius is saying that he will gank really early for me this way. Mm, after the raptors, it's pretty good, it's easy to snowball in Irelia. Okay. That's the help I can give right now, because look at the minions, yeah, oh, it's a bit better right now, but <laughs> it's totally random, right? The guy lost a minion without getting experience, that's really bad for him. Okay. It's a bit too much trading maybe. Should be more careful. Because this is favoring him for sure. 
Unless I reach level 2 though Which I should And like that, okay That was a big display okay. Too greedy I guess Didn't use anything It ends here. Ah, I could have killed. It's fine. Don't think I get too much behind with this. I just want to interrupt his recoil because he's losing a lot of minions. Bit low on potions though. Had to use one already. Okay. Give you TP back. You already did. He got Kal and Sapphire Crystal, that's nothing. The jungler is Graves. He showed somewhere both side. It's a good trade. Now I should wait for my next spy rotations, then I can maybe all in. But I wanna wait for level 5 actually. Taking a lot of damage too. Okay, let me just go. It's pretty low HP now. Even used his uh, orange. Oh, I really feel like all inning, but. Uh, it's maybe not the best idea. Okay, it's gonna play it safe. Used orange again. When my next pair rotation is up, I can one shot him. That's for sure. So Q is up now. I just wanna get enough mana for ulti. If I can ult the wave. Okay. That's great. Now I can buy machine. Into long sword. Let's see, yeah. Machine into long sword should be good. But you can see like this matchup is so much in favor of Irelia that even if I die early, which is Kind of the only time you can die, like early levels 1, 2, 3, because that's when GP is way stronger. You should just be more careful. Like I wasn't careful enough this game. I should have avoided all the trading and uh, just let him push because my jungler was ganking for me anyways at level 3. He's dead again. Like, uh, yeah. There's not much he can do. Okay. There's a lot of fighting going on, but I don't have TP yet. So there's nothing I can do. This way. An ally has been slain. <clears throat> ok, 
Okay, I should restore the sound for pings. So I'm three levels up on the GP. That means I should hold in him under tower right now. And just straight up dive him. Like, even if I die here it's worth. They will not but that doesn't even happen. Okay. That's really comfortable. Like he loses even more. He's not even level six yet. I should recall now. I think he has TP. Yeah, it does. Okay. I will recall at a safe position. He should hit level 6 soon. GP6. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna greet more. Could have maybe stayed, but uh, it's really greedy. Okay, GP back. I'm not sure what this guy wants But I guess he can kill me yeah, okay. Oh the red smite is pretty strong Challenging smite, if he didn't have challenging smite I don't think he could have killed me Should have seen that and maybe try to run It's storm raiders but I think he would have just flashed after him anyways So I was kind of dead either way Walking up is good too. If you, I thought I can one shot him faster though. That's why I just jumped on him in instantly. But uh, so I was kind of dead either way. Walking up is good too. If you, I thought I can one shot him faster though. That's why I just jumped on him in instantly. But uh, I wasn't fed enough to do that. I didn't spend my gold yet. Right now I'm definitely able to do it. Like just jump on him straight up and one shot. And even if he flashes away I just run after him with Storm Raiders. So it should be fine. But before he finally have a sheen. I should just be more patient, walk up to him, take it slow. Cheapness. I think I should just start moving there. Okay, never mind, I stay. Okay, grave stop side. Need to clear this ping. Uh, they're going a bit deep here. Should probably help the mountain come. Oh wow, that was nice. Okay, I'm gonna dive him, but he's not staying. Maybe he's tilted? Not sure. But something similar happened in my last Irelia game as well. The last time I streamed. The other guy just started trolling. I'm not sure if it was a troll or just a panic ult. Whatever, he doesn't have ult either way. That's all I should care about. TP two minutes. I'm just gonna deny the minions. Get my Triforce. And see where I go. Because as a team we are not ahead at all. In fact, we lost bot. Uh, we didn't lose bot lane. Oh, we are losing mid lane rather. Yeah, the Zed is pretty fed. So right now I can get my ninja tabby. So I should be quite unkillable for Graves, GP and Zed already. 
It should aim to get a frozen heart, but I think I'm so fat that I will just get more damage so I can one shot everyone. Since their whole team is so squishy. Uh, whatever. Nothing I can do there. It's a bit overextended by the team. But I should start walking mid now. I'm coming. It's a great opportunity to, to get some kills because they will go for the tower. And then I'm just gonna kill them. Yeah, coming. This is awesome. Take his farm action, but we should get the tower. Said no flesh. Okay. Oh no. Really don't feel like going in for that, sorry. Yeah, that's exactly why I didn't feel like going in. Because it's so easy to outplay. I guess uh, I should have jumped on the minion anyway. Like there was a low minion next to Fresh, I should have jumped there. Tried to juke his flay. Because he has to flay, trying to intercept my Q. And then I jump on him and kill. Okay, I have my TP up. I will just go top. I was considering TPing there, but... Uh. Oh wow, the graze damage. Holy moly. That was quite brutal. This guy is super fat. I'm not gonna tip in for that. We lose mid tower, but it's fine. Oh, what? Damage. It's actually ridiculously high. Hmm. Okay. So Graves is super scary. You should just try to avoid him or one shot him. But he's so tanky as well, that's the problem. He already has the strength of the Aegis Max. And he has Red Smite, so he can actually 1v1 me. Yep. Uh, it's not good, not good. Maybe you should defend just the next tower. Scraves so has double buff. It's expiring soon, he's red. You can go for fresh. Can't even damage the guy, it's really bad. He had like 700 damage on him. Oh, and I forgot that he's kind of fat too. Maybe I should TP top one up. Like, uh, stop forcing the fights against the fed members and try to kill the more squishy ones and get more fed. I can easily split push against any of them. So should look to do that. I can one shot Corky, one shot GP. And beat the Z in 1v1 easily too. Uh, 
that has no flesh yet. Can't help. Yeah, should defend the second tower. Fresh is nearby. TP stopped again. Stay sharp. <coughs> I think I will just split bot lane now. It's probably the best for the team. But I should recall first. Uh, get a distortion. So I can spam my abilities faster. Or like a summoner's rather. Fresh flash. Graves is one shutting everyone. What? What's going on? So we are losing fights 4v5 all the time. Like when we are 5 and they are 4. It's really, really bad. It should have never happen. But Graves is just so fat. We sh if we can't one shot the Graves, he will just carry all the fights. And it's really hard to one shot him. Coming around. It's good stuff. Why oh, didn't expire? Okay. Shall we try Nash? No. Shouldn't. People were too low to come. Okay, I'm getting sandwiched here. Just run. Maybe I'll be sneaking to the bush here to assassinate the GP. Not sure if he sees me. Okay, okay, it's really bad. Pretty sure that is coming somewhere. Okay. I'm fine. Got my Yumus. Cheapy pot. Okay, let's see what the blunt can do. Hopefully she one shot see. Ah, oh, it's so bad to see this. Like the GP is as fed as me right now. Like he has as much gold as I do. Or even better items. Should care. So he used his ult. Oh, we don't have a tower here. We should definitely care now. A good idea. <laughs> okay. It feels so weird though to fight them. I feel like I can't do anything against the uh, graves. He 
even when he jumps into like all of us. He's so strong. Maybe they are Nash. I have TP. Got TP. Five. They're surely on Nash. I have TP. Coming in, guys. I will turn on him anyways. That's one we want. Like uh not that underfed to not kill him when he stays like that. But his damage is so insane with like two autos he gets me down to half HP. The thing is I even have a lot of armor. Corky no Valkyrie. Should be able to get this tower. GP. Kill the GP. Actually he should be dead. But he's not coming. That's still It's not good. <coughs> Zed is coming, I think. Oh. Coming behind them. Should have probably stunned the GP, but uh, too scared. Couldn't. And he has orange, anyways. I guess it didn't matter. How good will G2 be compared to CLG? I think it will be quite even. As I mentioned earlier, I think the regions are quite close to each other now. EU and uh, NA. Okay, we can win this game easily still. The GP is super squishy. I can one shot him many times, same for same for like all of them apart from the graves. And he's getting a Sterex gauge, which won't make things easier. But uh, our Tristana is getting fed. In late game Tristana, especially a good player, is capable of carrying easily. Okay. Fresh is bot. Should be able to push mid. I think I will go top though. Because I feel like the GP will just go there. And we can't do anything mid. Like this tower we cannot take. That's for sure. We should try to take this one. Fight. Didn't contribute too much. Yeah, Tristan is rolling. Becoming really strong right now. If they don't kill her, then she can solo pair the fights. Okay. Graves comes, I should probably just jump on him. Tank up the damage. 
CC him down a bit, like slow him. I think I activated my W a bit late last fight. I'm pretty sure I should have one shot it someone there, the GP. And could have maybe kept jumping after. <coughs> Let's just go more damage. I think I shouldn't go for like anything defensive, like look at the Dusk Blade. Just pure damage. And try to one shot because they don't have any armor at all. So armor penetration is great. It's not like they're gonna build armor either. Okay, nice. Mm. Should care there. Oh. Deep, deep. No, no, no. That's too deep. Let's go for top tower now. We can just ignore mid, they can push it if they want, we have super minions there. Maybe I should have stunned, but I was fairly certain we can kill him anyways. Graves no wood, that's huge. Oh. Doesn't have QSs, but I Gilius mm. will get killed here. Uh for someone else. Oh, this is bad choke to fight him. It's really bad choke. Recalling. The fresh actually has some armor. Grape slow. How low is he? He's not that low actually. But uh, we can do this for sure. If Cork comes there. We can fight for the Drake. We're really strong right now. Not sure buff and such. But we should check it. Someone should like go and check it because they might be doing it. Okay, they don't. Top lane is huge. Maybe I should just go. I will push top. Go TP. If they play swords, it should be fine. Just heading top. I stand Whatever. <laughs> the blank. Decided to jump in. It's fine. Just delays time a bit. Okay, so Jeep is coming top now without any assistance. But he's leaving instantly. I'm 
dipping in there. And they went too deep. <laughs> was bad. Quite bad. Do they have any armor? Oh, I think I can go for some more armor now. I actually expected to one shot the GP way faster. Ah, oh, she's gonna die. Okay, close. What keystone are you running? I'm running Storm Raider Surge. Because I feel like it fits better with Rally than Fervor and such. <coughs> Since if you see what I'm doing is all the time just jumping in and trying to burst down something. And Fervor is not too useful with that. Like I've never felt too useful with it. <coughs> I think it's only good if you go for full split push. If you go split push Rally you can go Fervor and Jeans or Rage Blade. Maybe Blade of the Ring King, like uh, more split push items. Okay. So LeBlanc dies again. And. We're getting caught everywhere. I think I just stay okay, at this point. An ally has been slain. Wow, he's so strong. I thought maybe with Duskblade I can damage him a bit more. Hopefully they don't end. I don't think they will, unless someone dies here really fast. Yeah, fine. Just hug the towers. <coughs> LeBlanc is up too. It's good, it's really good. Really well played by Reckless so far. Okay, now it's time to run. Nice. So now we can end. We should just go meet this five and try not to die, I guess. If only I had TP, I could have TP'd here and just killed them all. I'm not sure if we can finish actually, it's 25 for Graves, fresh is up soon. We can definitely take... Mm, the towers are not low enough, but we can take one in here. Yes, yeah. Just clear the sides. Okay. I'm running top lane. What should I get for next item? Mm. I think some HP would be nice. Thinking of Sterex. So I may just sell my item, the armor penetration, when I have enough gold for it. Okay, that's terrible, terrible. Everyone is just dying. Jump back there. Okay. So what I should try now is... Kill... Someone.
There is GG. <coughs> There's not much we can do against five people. Just two. The Grace was super strong, but uh, I guess that's what happens when one of these three OP junglers are left open. Because right now it's Nidalee, Kindred and Graves. And those three are like super dominant. But through like our mid laner was suiciding a lot, so we didn't really deserve to win that much. Like in the enemy team, they played really good, the Zed, Graves. Apart from the GP, like all of them did good. Can I play Hecarim? Hmm. I will see if the situation is good. I won't blind pick him because he has a lot of bad matchups and can be countered easily. But if I can counter pick top lane, I might. My room page was this one. I was running CDR per level 6, bit of MR, armor, attack speed and AD. <coughs> I think it's like good early room page but uh, not the best for scaling. No, I didn't build Rageblade, <coughs> exactly because of what I said, that I think Irelia is not really auto attack based champ. But, <coughs> but rather someone you want to burst with. So I think Storm Raider is better, the Fervor is not that good, and then I wouldn't even build uh, Rageblade on her, because you need to stack it up. It's good for split pushing, but not for like bursting down someone and running away after. I think Ilaoi has like a lot of potential, but she lacks CC so much that uh, it makes her not viable. If she had one form of CC, like a stun or something, she would be actually pretty great. Top mage meta with the new mage changes? Probably. I think the mage changes, I haven't read them yet, but they s seem to be really significant. Or at least people say that as well. So I just think it will ha enhance the top line mage meta as well. Or it might just do that. Because Swain, Rumble, and other mages may occur as well. That we don't know yet. Yeah, we are all streaming on Twitch because we are partnered up with Twitch as a team. What do you think about Olaf top after the buff? Uh, it seems to be quite strong. Like Olaf, this bit of buff might just uh, put him into competitive play again because it doesn't seem that significant but every small buff is good and there were nerfs to grasp of the undying and such and with Olaf you can actually run further and uh, still be strong still have like a strong mastery page so it might just be enough for him to become strong I will see or like we will see rather I'm not the biggest Olaf player ever 
but uh, I will try him out as well at one point. Good old Swain, it would be refreshing to see after two years actually. Yeah. Mm. The thing is I haven't played Swain for quite a long time now. Since the nerfs actually, like they randomly nerfed his W. Meanwhile he wasn't even played competitively like ever. And then this happens. It's interesting and he's kinda weaker right now but after the changes I might try him out. Right now I don't think he's too usable. Okay, we got a game. And we didn't get the game. The thing about this is uh, when there is a Q pop, people don't accept. It usually goes into like a 10 minutes more Q or something, like a way longer one. It's a pretty weird system, but it's what's uh, ruining the Q times usually for like challenger players. Because you see this Q popped after 5 minutes. Which is pretty good. And then we need to wait 10 more minutes for another one. I was actually wrong with this one. It doesn't always happen, but it happens most of the time. Okay, I get top lane. I have the GP from the previous game. Main jungler. This is. Pretty sure I'm familiar with this name. I think it's Splice Smurf. Probably. I wanna play Yorick top. I will see. Like, I'm in a really comfortable position right now. I can pick my top lane. Fourth rotation, like it's fourth. So it's most likely gonna be a counter pick. Or I will see three champions of the enemy team at least, which is quite good. Need to ban something. I will ban. I would generally ban Kindred, but judging from the previous game, I might just decide for Graves. Okay. So he's not answering. Right now, the carry top laners are actually the tanks. So if you want to carry the hardest, you should go the tanks. Trundle, Maokai, Echo. Those are the biggest carries right now. The stream started mm, two hours ago, maybe. And we actually played only two games, or three games, two games, three games, I think two games, the Rise one and the Irelia one, they were pretty long ones, so this might just, okay, they dodged, this might just be my last game, I will see, if it's another long game it will be my last one. It will give you dash ability, the new Hextech item. Mm, okay. That sounds interesting. I haven't read the AP items yet. What what are the changes? I will do so later on. I guess in the next days. Hmm. Not exactly sure what do you mean by that, but uh, we in the OL definitely don't use it. Something like this statistical analysis.
Although it, I'm pretty sure it can be useful, or like it is useful. The Iceborne nerf will end the tank meta. I don't think so. Like it's just the beginning of the tank kind item nerfs. Uh, but I don't think it's ju just enough to nerf all of them. Because on some tanks you don't even go Iceborne. Or like you don't have to. It may be gonna bring back more like Frozen Heart. Because Frozen Heart got replaced by Iceborne early on every champion. But Frozen Heart is still pretty strong and can be used on champions like Maokai easily. You don't need the Iceborne necessarily. I like the new champion icons, at least most of them. It's like only the fiddlesticks that I'm not really getting used to because it looks a bit weird, but the rest seem to be fine. How did you get into UL? I was basically here from the start and we qualified to the LCS together as a team. Like fighting our way up to the Challenger series and then into LCS, beating another LCS team. <laughs> yeah, easy mid lane. It's still probably pretty strong guard. What do you think about split pusher Irelia? I think that's an option too. I mean, she's quite a strong speed pusher, you can go fervor and rage blade basically 1v1 all of the other speed pushers but mm, the thing is you can never fight with that if you have rage blade, trinity force, Irelia or like even more damage you can basically never fight you don't have enough burst one shot carries and you are just a split pushing machine but a really strong one so if your team can hold the enemy with a good wave clear mid laner, maybe wave clear ADC like Severe, uh, jungler like Gragas or Graves that has some wave clear too, then it could be good. Why is there no Gragas jungle in LCS anymore? I believe it's because of the jungle nerf mostly. The jungle item nerf that was commonly built on Gragas, the runic echoes. It was nerfed by like 20 AP, less movement speed and such. So Gragas is not that strong anymore because of that. Mostly. And also he struggles a lot against the range junglers that are in the current meta. So when there is Graves Kindred Nidalee, they can just bully the Gragas wherever they want. How much hours are you practicing a day? Are you guys practicing a day? Usually when it's LCS time we practice mm, like 8 to 10 hours sometimes even more It really depends how people wake up and what their schedule is but I think generally it's like 8 to 10 hours Where is your gamer glasses? I'm actually not using them anymore because it's too troublesome to like uh, clear them and such. But uh, but they were quite fine. I didn't feel like they helped my performance that much, so I don't think it's necessity to use gamer glasses. <coughs> Is it worth to apply for UL analyst position? I think my experience could be useful for you guys. Mm, I can't really tell that, sorry. But uh, you should ask someone else about that from UL, like the coach or manager. Uh, no, but team t team changes, I cannot say much, like, we will inform you guys in a few weeks, most likely on the UL side. 
What is your favorite champion? I would say my favorites are Irelia, Gangplank, and Rise. Those three. Anivia or Katarina better mid laner? Definitely Anivia because she is a strong laner and scales really good. But Katarina is more like a solo queue champion you can carry with because you can snowball and just roam around the map, get free kills. But Anivia is more like for competitive play and she is actually usable. How do you think the mid meta will change? I guess most likely mages with a lot of AoE damage ultimates will come. Will become like the meta. But uh, it's hard to say right now. We will see the changes, like the actual changes. Even if I'm reading the items, I am still unsure of how it will work in game. So you basically have to see it in game to tell what's gonna happen how can you manage to practice with other LCS teams but not show your new secret picks that's just impossible if you want to practice a secret pick you have to practice it against an LCS team and just hope that they don't leak like uh, leaking is always an option but usually teams don't leak so it's, it's the best for everyone to just practice with each other, don't leak, and everyone will stay in a good relationship with the others, and then they can just keep practicing, but leaking sometimes happens, sadly. How many custom games do you play? We usually play 4 or 5 games with other LCS teams uh, During LCS season uh, I'm still so used to writing top lane into the chat Always preparing for it instantly when it pops Okay, so I have people I have no clue about I have never seen any of them that uh, that can be a good and a bad thing. Hopefully, we won't end up with double jungle. Who is the best solo queue top laner in the US? Hmm. I'm not too sure if you mean like players I don't think there are too many solo queue top laners actually like the best top laners are usually LCS players so I don't really see any top lane outstanding top laner that is a solo queue player and doesn't have a team even the better ones have like a challenger team or something at least Alright, so we are banning Kindred is going out. Really hate this champion. <coughs> Who is the best ADC to climb with? Oh, will you be streaming tomorrow too? Uh, not sure about it yet. I will see. Who is the best AD carry to climb with? I guess Lucian. With Lucian, really mobile ADC. If you are a good AD carry player, you can always outplay the enemy with him. Strong laner and such. Like definitely the most suitable ADC to carry with. But other than that, I would say Ezreal as well. Ezreal is someone who scales insanely good. So and has a safe laning phase. So you can just survive lane and carry the game after. 
those two, I think. Would you switch to full time stream after you're done with competitive? Mm. Haven't thought about something like that yet. It's hard to tell. Probably not instantly, but maybe at one point. Not sure. I think Cassiopeia back to Essex. Oh, actually, Cassiopeia top might be an option after the item changes and such. What do you think about Cassidy top? Right now, he's a no, but if it becomes a mage meta, then uh, he might be a good option to go for because he's generally good against mages. Okay, let's see. So I'm against the Graves top. And I'm gonna play. Is there any range champions? Train. So we went for Z. I need something AP. Generally, I would go Rise, but don't think I will play him this time. Besides. Okay, what about Kenna? I think I will go cannon. Yeah. Oh, this splash art is actually so weird. I really dislike this one. Like it looks cool here, but here it's... I don't even realize this is cannon. Okay, let's skip. Now we go with... Yeah, let's go the new skin. Maybe it brings some luck. <coughs> okay, Assassin, Merciless. We go Thunderlords on Cannon. I think I will go Defense 3. Oh, it's Graves ADC, this on the top. That would be rather weird, and I think this game might be a dodge. I don't know, I wouldn't go those because our team comp would be really bad with Trando. Maokai is banned. Maokai would be a good option, whatever. So it's ADC Graves list on the top. I will go attack speed AP. Yeah. I think this should be fine. A bit more defense is good against uh, Lissandra. Yeah, they generally just support me. <laughs> yeah, they are already turned up. Okay. Yeah, my queue time was actually quite long, so I'm not surprised if I end up playing with Masters. And we seem to have a Smurf as well, because this guy has no uh, border. Nasius team got paid, that's clear, but I always wondering what about Challenger series team, do you know if they get paid as well? Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, they do receive something, but not the same amount as LCS players, obviously. Jinzo no tills, it's broken as fuck. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe it's maybe it is. It's maybe worth a try. But uh, not right now. How much time are you planning to be in the LCS? Right now I'm not planning too much. I'm just staying as long as I feel. 
And if I feel like it's time to stop, then I will stop. When do you go back to the gaming house? Uh, roughly in a month. Around. So I will still stay home for quite a while. The next season, the next split only starts uh, in the beginning of June. So it's still pretty far away. Until then, we can watch MSI, the Korean finals, the Chinese finals and such. <clears throat> Maybe I should have started with something different than Doran's Blade, but uh, let's see. I will try it out now. And it's actually quite comfortable to play against double APS cannon, since I can just rush uh, Abyssal Scepter and it will give me enough tankiness and damage. Okay. So let's see. This one release him TF. Okay. It's actually a pretty scary combination. After level 6, I should be just super passive. Because if TF will stop or Lee Sin comes with a kick, I will die to either of them. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This guy is probably dead. Oh, we have here. He's dead, anyways. No flash TF. Okay, oh. I helped a lot, but I might just lose a minion for this. And I did. So did you. So apparently people don't really realize this bug yet. Because nobody is moving in time. I was quite sure I will lose it, but I tried it out. Because I don't know what's the limit I can stay anyways. How long I can help the jungler. It doesn't seem to be too long. So listen to my trap, I think it's maybe a bit harder early, but it will get easier later. Okay. I'm getting a lot of harass on her. It's definitely something really good. What's their jungler? I think it's Lee Sin. So I don't need to fear the gangs that much early, because I don't think they can kill me. Besides, Lee Sin should be bottom side right now. Okay. So Lee Sin invaded Nidari and killed her. That sounds a bit unusual, I think. I thought Nidari is like easily the strongest at this point of the game. She shouldn't lose to Lee Sin. Maybe it was like a good cheese from him. Okay, so Lee Sin is still both sides. That means I can go way more aggressive here against this Lissander. I should just push her under tower and harass her down.
I have a four stacks. If I can auto her, it's great. It's really awesome. Getting a lot of harass on her, I'm up in level. I don't even need to recall. But right now I think Lee Sin's kick comes in. So I should be careful. This ward doesn't help me spot him too much. But it just helps me right now. So I can keep up my aggressivity. Okay, he's mid lane. pop my potion so I can keep trading with her. I'm hitting level 6 soon, maybe I can all in. I need to get one more stack on her. Like this. Yeah. Okay. She doesn't have E right now. Oh, no. If she didn't hit me with the slow I could all in probably. I thought Lee Sin is coming because that was such an aggressive all in. Oh, so greedy by her to stay like there. Oh. Just gonna suicide. Or not. Okay, at least I got the tear foot out. Okay, my lane seems to be fine, it's pushing towards me. Lissandra has no flash. She flashed the same time as me. I think I will just go with boots. She's missing. Oh, she's bottom. Okay. Did she TP? Okay, so it's around 12.35. Missing the TP. She flashed 100 seconds ago. It's around 625, 11.25 It's three, 3 minutes from now, so yeah, it's 11.25 Maybe ward out aggressively hmm. Our jungler is getting a bit destroyed She went out of my W range. I could have definitely killed her there if I hit my Q earlier. Sadly I missed. Ok, 
Okay, TF. TF can TP. Should do it. <laughs> that was so close. What's happening in the chat? GG man. Alright, some some random flame as usual. Yeah, it was calculated, right? <laughs> it was pretty lucky rather. In fact TF could have TP way earlier anyways. That's flash from me. This thing just came from behind. Okay, what does she doesn't have any MR? I think she I can one shot her, but TF is wood and this is nearby. Yeah, this thing is behind me. Still. I think they can still kill me. Like, uh, listener can E forward and flash. Yeah. She doesn't even need to flash. Okay. This thing used to it. I can TP back then. Don't think they can dive without ult. And I can protect the tower. She used her E as well, so she doesn't have E right now. Don't want to lose the tower yet. Okay. Never mind, they took the tower too fast. I actually thought I can run onto the descender, but I couldn't. It was a bad TP. I'm squishier than I thought. With my... I don't have enough armor to survive this in burst. He can kill me pretty much with... One Q and autoing me down. So I don't have TP there now for bot lane. Okay, listener miss, she can TP. Sandra is still missing and she has TP up. She's not building any MR still. Maybe just go aggressive on her. But actually TF is wood. Maybe I should care a bit. Okay, TF is occupied. How low is he? Oh, it's good, it's good. Keep going, keep going. We can kill TF. Oh, okay. Could have, but this under TP. At least we got the TP out. Does she see me? They probably have a ward in the lane.
time to run. That's good. We get a lot of gold from this. It's 13-7. We are actually not that far behind. And they have Graves ADC. Which means... Every time I will ult, I will catch the Graves because he's short range. So unless I get insta-bursted by TF Lissandra, which is a possibility. I should be able to carry the fights pretty hard with Cannon here. TF is out of mana, I can push one more. Okay, I have my TP up as well. So, there's nothing to take bot lane actually. You already have the tower. I have TP advantage, because this Sunra used her TP for mid lane. They're building quite some MR, so I'm not sure if it's worth to go for Sorcerer shoes. I will just go for it, Lucidity. Okay, coming mid. I think we can team fight them. I'm tipping behind already. Let's see how this works out. It's great, it's great, it's great. It's great. My pleasure. Thank you for the donation. I can get mid tower here. The only reason I insta TP here is because uh, I knew that Lissandra doesn't have her TP. Tower. Now we should back. I will push top because they are like that. TF and Lissandra. <coughs> I'm not that scared of Lacing coming after me. But uh, this is really risky. Just back. Oh, they are not backing. It's pretty bad. I need to back now, to defend. And the whole team died because they overstayed. Okay. Actually with distortion boots and CDR boots, I get uh, 3 minutes cooldown on flash and TP. That's such a huge thing for cannon, because you are so summoner reliant. This is a bit overextended here. Can keep going for him. Alright, got it. We could go towards Nash, but well, actually, we are pretty slow Nash. Nobody's fast in our team around Nash. I'm just throwing out some random words because 
These wards are staying for a long time. Maybe I could get top tower. I think we should try to get this. Like, someone help me. With the help of Needle Lee, we can easily get it. time like you but this whole dive is fail anyways just run let me die it's fine okay I have TP up which means kind of slower than but team is dead already so no I will just come from lane Smack you. If I hit that, the Graves is gonna die. <coughs> I think he doesn't have move anymore. Okay, coming. We can defend this tower. Lissandra use TP. Oh, this guy. This guy. It's really greedy. <laughs> right into the fresh hook. Damn. Wanted to run past the fresh. And Graves actually had more of more Marshall Stila. Didn't think. Because he stepped into my wood earlier. Like here. Jumped through. And he still didn't proc it. Interesting. Maybe it just came back. It was a wasted TP though. Okay. Thing is, we are forcing fights a bit too much. I think it's uh, it's not our strength to fight them like this, like in skirmishes. That's great. That's great. That should do it. Yeah. Wow. Why is Grace so strong? This champion is really broken. Like even here if it was other AD carry it, he would just die really fast, but Grace dashing, dealing so much damage and such. Okay, that was a bit careless. I should have just orbed here. Felt a bit safe with this one. I didn't think they are not defending because they are poor and pushing. This no I think we can take this tower and put them back. Should take them. Should I build next? I think I should get the void stuff. Since they have so much MR. Like I don't even I don't even know how he gets away with this with the graves. Going for this build that consists of so much uh, MR. Then we have a Z that should be able to one shot him. I have no idea how I want to approach this. It's gonna be really hard. I don't think I can just run past the flesh. 
I don't have ulti there. Yeah. The free Nash. Nothing to do. Okay. I regret the bot lane farm, I need some farm. Falling a bit behind. They have a pink ward inside. I think they are coming for me, I should just back out. They are on Drake most likely, but can come bot lane at time. Yeah. So maybe defend this one, like a uh, trap in the bush. No, I will just stay there. I'm pretty sure they will come. It was a good team fight for us, but we are just too underfed. Can't get their carries down fast enough. Ah. And maybe I should just start banning graves. This champion seems really imbalanced. Uh, winning every single game, like carrying, hard carrying every single game. But that's the same for actually Kindred and such as well. Oh, whatever. <coughs> okay. Uh, I will stop the stream now, so thanks for watching and have a nice night, guys. And see you next time. Bye-bye.